Bruce Spartan post game show. Ross Gordon now joined by the head coach of Norfolk State University, Coach Larry Vickers. 67 56 is your final score here in at Norfolk. The Spartans get the win over UNCW. First of all, Coach, uh, we talked about it. Dr. Jekyll, a little bit of Mr. Hyde in today. Uh, we, 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 we put the ball in the basket, 67 points. Uh, we shot over 50% for the ball game, 56.8 to be exact. Um, well, you know, we've been talking about it over and over again our first quarters. Our first quarters haven't been good. You think about the four points against ODU, the three points against Hampton, our second, third, and fourth have been solid, but today our second wasn't great. But our, we, we got off to a good start. We're one of them teams that you can see the ball go through the hole early. It relaxes us. So Deja did a good job getting us started today, um, attacking the screen, and then from there everybody began to relax. But we won every quarter tonight, even That's though good. that second quarter was just a six to four uh, <laughs> second quarter. But again, we won every quarter tonight. Uh, they started to make a comeback in that first quarter. We hit a shot to uh, go up 2017, but we did a good job uh, of playing solid defense, which we've been, which we've been doing for mm -hmm. the most for the most part, not allowing. Uh, Oh God, to really get going. She just had four, 12 points and eight rebounds tonight. We knew she was going to be tough. And DaCosta as well. She had 13, but they were a spotty 13. Uh, I think the biggest difference from this year's game, well, this year's game and last year's game was the point guard. Last year, three went. McMillan, she went crazy on us. Um, and this year, Deja was really, she was really good today. Um, you know, so, you know, the team who had the better point guard played one, and, and this time our point guard had the better game. Camille Downs likes uh, playing uh, either for UNCW or for NSU here at Joe Eccles Hall. Gets each other 22 points, another career high for her. Uh, 10 rebounds. She had four steals uh, tonight, and uh, she also had uh, one block. And I think one thing about her, and maybe maybe I don't know if you need to put UNCW jerseys on everybody, but she seemed focused right out of the right off the gate. Well, you know, you never know how these games are going to go when a when a player is playing against their old team. So. I either knew she was going to have a huge game or she was going to have a donut, you know, just to, for, from the emotions. But she didn't seem too pressed, to, you know, so she just said, Coach, I want the win. You know, you talk about little things sometimes that don't matter. You know, she was really good. She was really good on the offense of the day, composed. Um, and when she's poised, she's a, she's a really good offense player. Plus 25 when she's on the floor tonight for you. I know a lot of people look at plus minuses. Uh, plus 25 for her. Uh, 18 points for Deja Francis. You told us how she really got us going. Uh, but it was this hustle plays. I think Armani Franklin really did what she does well. She Nine points tonight, uh, but she got us going with three steals in the first half. She also had six rebounds, two of them offensive and in a possession where we had like six <laughs> shots at the basket. Mm -hmm. And that was the that was the difference in the ball game tonight. It looked like we got to all the loose balls. Yeah, it's the M's. Armani and McCoy, those are... They're, they're, they're really our heart. They're our energy players. Um, Omani plays with a lot of intensity, and McCoy matches that intensity. We're a tough team to beat. Um, so McCoy did a good job energy-wise the whole entire time. And Omani as well. Just there, just their intensity and hustle to get those 50-50 balls. Um, that's what they do for us. And, you know, Omani's going to score when, uh, when a game is fast-paced like this, and she did a really good job. I think one one big thing as well, Coach. We talked about closing ball games against that uh, Campbell. We had we had the closing, and again tonight, um, I forgot which I forgot which is the other game that we closed. We we're on the road, uh, of, of course. But uh, Naya, mm -hmm. who, who had five points tonight, and they all mattered. The big three that she hit when the shot clock yeah. was running down. That one really put the game away. Uh, well, you want your point guard to be able to put the put the game away. Yeah. Well, UNCW they um, went under under they went under every ball screen today, and that's something that our guards really haven't seen all year. Um, we got some moving screens because of it. You know, I guess our bigs were bumping the the guards on that action, but um, they were going underneath all game. Like you're telling them, Naya, 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 it's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. So with two seconds on the shot clock, she finally took one. But you know that's not her her role isn't to score for us. Um, we got a little wager to figure out how many times she'll score double digits this year and it involves me running. Um, but she, she does a good job closing the show for us today and, and providing leadership as a redshirt freshman coach. And coach, we get uh, set for William & Mary on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, another team, much like this uh, UNCW team, um, a little bit different this year. I know a couple years ago they wanted to score 5 million points. Mm -hmm. this, year they're, this year they're a little bit different. Uh, what can we take from this ball game on the road to William and Mary? Well, William and Mary is a team that we've always struggled with in that building. I don't think in my seven years we've won over there. Yes, we have. Uh, 
when Ethan was here, we won, we won a game. It was <laughs> okay, overtime. okay, okay. It was an overtime. It was overtime. I had okay, pictures. I don't even remember. I had but pictures, but yeah. I happened. feel like we lose every time we go over there, you know, over here. I feel like we win them, but um, I know last year we didn't. But um, this is going to be a tough road game for us. They can really shoot the basketball. You know, we play a lot of zones, so we're going to have to locate and find shooters early and often. But um, we're excited to try and get two dubs going into Christmas break. Uh, most importantly, coach, you got the win, and, and I know yeah, that's something, definitely. and it's something most that we, you know, you, you, in the ebbs and flows, we talked about it before the, uh, the game. It's a team that's young, uh, gelling together, yeah. and uh, losing some key parts. This was a big win for us uh, today, four and six now, as we get set for William and Mary on Sunday. We thank you all for your help here at Joe Eccles Hall for Wuwe Gabrea and the coach Larry Vickers. I'm Ross Gordon. You have been listening and watching NSU basketball right here on the NSU Sports Network and NSU All Access.